Hey humans, we're at Tarantella's restaurant today. It's an Italian restaurant um, down on one of the back streets of Weston. We are joined today by a local artist. Well, a pleasure Hello. to have uh, with us today. So, Martin, if you want to introduce yourself, uh, tell us your name. <laughs> yes, well, I'm, I'm Martin Darcy. Uh, I'm a local street artist. Uh, I also enjoy painting murals in the winter. You do, you do. <laughs> uh, the summertime is great. I sit in the street and I paint. You do. Um, uh, as we know, our climate isn't brilliant, and uh, you <laughs> if it was if it was a perfect day every day, I'd just be painting every day. Painting every single day. But every getting inside and people, I'm very very lucky. Uh, about a year or so ago, I was asked to do a wall uh -huh. on the outside of a pub. Nice. Um, the night jar. I know. Well, I know of the night jar. I do know of yes, the night jar. And they asked me if I could paint something on that, and uh, I did. And ever since then, people ask, a can you do this, can <laughs> you do this, can you do this? And it's brilliant, absolutely amazing. I'm very, very fortunate uh, that Liz Rinaldi and Katie here at Tarantella asked me if I'd like to come in and cheer up this little quiet corner. And you did a wonderful job. It's nearly done. <laughs> We're getting there, We're getting there. Perfect. But they let me have a bit of a carte blanche. Uh, for what I do, yeah. <coughs> and I think it's working. I think this is working. I think it's. They're working. getting bookings now. People actually ring up and you. say, "Can I you. book this and room? Martin Please, can I sit and look at the mural <laughs> whilst I'm having my Italian?" That's true. I know, and I can't believe, I can't believe it, you know. Before we talk any about your artwork, because I've got a few questions about it, what I do want to know is what your relation is to Western, being humans of Western, I want to yep. know uh, what you're Well, I was, I was born and bred in Western Supermare. Uh, my father had furniture shops called Darcy's ah. in Western Supermare many, many years ago. Okay. Uh, my grandfather was a street artist. He was? A chalk artist. Um, he used to do chalk drawings on paving stones okay. just by the pier uh -huh. and put his cap out. Oh. Unfortunately, our local town council wouldn't let me do it. Oh, right, okay. Maybe. The chalk. <laughs> Maybe but, the so I found another way around it. I do my pictures on card mm -hmm. and then I can give them to people. people. Yeah. Humans, humans but I love Western. I, over the years, we've seen the old pier deteriorate, we've seen various things in Western deteriorate. Uh -huh. um, I, it, it's, economically, it, it's hard. Yeah. Western, it is hard. I mean, we've got to attract tourists. We, the tourism, they survive on the fact that tourists come. But for most people, like me in the summer, if, it, if it's a nice day, you make money. Yeah. If it's raining, okay. you don't. Okay. But uh, yeah, I love Western. Good for you, we love Western I do. Too. Very, very much so. <laughs> and I'm not going anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Ditto, my friend. Um, I wanted to ask you about your inspirations for your drawings. Um, you said that your grandfather was a street artist. He was. Was he an inspiration to you? Yes, yeah, very yeah. much so. I remember as a child going along the seafront and being walked on the seafront uh, just by the pier okay. and he would, he, you'd see all these lovely chalk pictures yeah. and yet he couldn't sell them obviously, what he relied on is just having a few pennies. Oh. Uh, my mum in Western, she used to sell the papers, I remember she telling me uh, Western, to have a little, a little paper round, you were a very, very, very lucky girl. Yeah, okay. but you had to do it. Uh -huh. It wasn't pocket money. This was money for the family in those days. There was still rationing then. Okay. Well, I hate to say it, but <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> but I do remember Older. her telling me. And uh, but what lovely people they were. Mm -hmm. And uh, Westonians have so much. They have. A, you've got a beautiful town. Beautiful. There's a beautiful seafront. Uh, I recently did a charity painting for uh, the Burnbeck Regeneration Trust. I was there. <laughs> and a lot of other artists came as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that was a really nice weekend yeah. that people actually made mm -hmm. so much effort mm -hmm. 
just to say, look, you know, we do care. Mm -hmm. uh, there seems to be a big theme in Western at the minute with a lot of artists, a lot of art, like you said, the Birnbeck Trust getting yeah. involved and yeah. really, do you think the art from around the area is going to bring people in? Do you think that's uh, Well, I certainly do. Well, well, you know, even Banksy in the Tropicana, I mean, it certainly brought some people to Western <laughs> Super Mare, didn't did. it? Uh, a great idea. It's a shame it didn't go on longer. Mm -hmm. I must admit, I'm a bit cheeky. Everyone always says to me, Martin, did you go? And I said, no, I didn't. <laughs> did you not? I did, but I oh, sat outside where they all come out and sold my pictures. To you could have <laughs> I did. <That's> really <laughs> I was a bit naughty. No, that's good. No, that's good. That's how you get it. But out. that's how it all works. Mm -hmm. Western mm -hmm. works on its income, people visiting. It's a great shame that certain things haven't happened to the mm -hmm. Tropicana. That's a big, I know it's a massive debate, but... Uh, I think it will have its it, day. It helped, it, it, Banksy helped Western. He put, it put Western on a worldwide map. And I believe you're still keeping us on the map. <laughs> I, I was, yeah, I was, I was here before Banksy, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it, 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 it sort of helped, yeah. Martin Darcy is here first. Martin 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 first. <laughs> and he's gonna Brilliant. And there's a, a lovely guy, uh, JPS, Jamie Porskaman. He he's he's great. He he's done an awful lot for Western, which does go recognised. Uh -huh. um, I think you know, it, it, artists, yes, definitely, definitely, without a doubt. I want to talk fun. about your aspirations as a child. Now you've become an artist. Was it something that you always? Wanted I always to do? wanted to be an artist. Without yes, a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. So you had a talent from a long age for drawing. I did. I used to love going home. If I came home from school, I'd paint. Nice. I loved it. Yeah. I would. I absolutely loved drawing and painting. And you realised you had a talent from a young age. As well. Yes, but when I was at sixth form. In Western. In Western, another book. <laughs> uh, my brother came down from Oxford. He was a uh, he was uh, teaching at Oxford, at uh, Hartford, and I remember him going to see my art master, who wasn't very pleased with me. Oh dear. And he told my brother, he said, "Look, before you can paint, you've got to learn to draw." Okay. <laughs> I got a, my art A level. I got this will help all aspiring artists out there. I got an E. An All right, e. an E, Not and that was the top e. pass at the Oxford Further <laughs> Education College. Wow. I got the top A level. You did? Yep. Oh, that was an E. Wow. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know what to say. No, exactly. <laughs> but you made it. <laughs> well, um, you might not even give me a d uh, an F. I think <laughs> <laughs> F for effort. It is <laughs> I hope. But to be honest, it's like. Yes, as a child, I loved art, but if it don't, I think art isn't. It's when you. It doesn't matter how well you draw. How, you know, if you can draw photographically, what's the point? Put put something on a piece of paper or a wall that yeah. you like, and if someone comes along and says they like it, isn't that amazing? Yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect. The perfection we all strive for, we never get. Mm. Um, Talking about your art again then, so there's a theme to your work that uh, we've pointed out, uh, plants, trees. I love, I, I just love, uh, if you, most of my work you'll see this colour, I don't use green, it, it comes out green but I just oh, use, yeah. it's black and yellow it and I just that. love doing it. It, it, it's, it's sort of, it's a bit corny but it's my style. I love your style. And if everyone sees style. it they think, I knew who painted that, See? Martin Darcy painted it, because of this style, it's yeah. this, this odd thing. It's not odd, it's cool, it's quirky. Oh, we thank you, <laughs> thank work. you very much. I'm very, I, I defend it, I, I hate people seeing my work, but once it's on a wall, that's it, you know. Why do you hate people seeing your work? <sighs> I'm always scared it's not good enough. Really? Remember that, it's Definitely, artists. definitely. People have come and pick up a painting and I, and I immediately go, well, here it is, but I'll make excuses. You know, oh, I'm sorry, it's not quite why I want it. I'm not, I'm not always making an excuse about something. I just can't let it be, be <laughs> can't you know. It, it, it is a very, very strange, strange thing. I suppose it's opening yourself up, isn't it? You're expressing yourself and if yeah. anyone was to, it's a part of you, isn't it? I'm, I'm guessing, that's the way I think 
Yeah. Well, Liz reminded me just now, uh, last week, I, I've never put any of my work on another artist's website or anything okay. like that. And I decided I would, uh, just a little photograph of me working on that. And I put it on uh, this uh, artist basically trying to make a living site. You know, everyone's there. Mm -hmm. It's all got a hundred likes, two hundred, seven hundred, a <laughs> thousand, wow. fifteen hundred. But it wasn't just the fact that people were just hitting that button, which is quite easy to like. Yeah, it, it was the over a hundred comments just saying, oh. well, I, I, I couldn't believe it. Does I absolutely, I just, this isn't, you know, yeah. this is amazing. The, what people were saying about my art and what I've done, yeah. I, I couldn't believe it. I, really? I just absolutely stunned. Does it give stunned. you more confidence in yourself and in your work? Not really. <laughs> he is his own worst critic. <laughs> <laughs> I Not really. Right. You're only as good as your last job, apparently. Oh, really? <laughs> that's pretty good. Okay. But, um, uh, yeah. So, what do you, what's next for you? What's your next plan of action? I have, it's obviously the winter. I shall finish this. I have another couple of jobs on the go at the moment. Okay. Uh, we have Heroes, the uh, local uh, live venue. You do, yes. Great you bar. Do, yes. Uh, Matt's got plans for that, Matt and Rosie. They have massive plans for the back out there. Uh -huh. uh, I sh they've asked me if I'd like to do the artwork, which is really nice. Good, good for you. Uh, so I'm really pleased. Have you got a theme already? Do you have any ideas? It's a bit, I, I'm not quite sure. Matt and Rosie are in charge of this one. And obviously all the local bands that come to play there, uh, we're gonna make it something very unusual. Good, it's I'm gonna excited. be very, very we'll come down, we'll get some pictures, and we'll show you with the world. And also I have uh, a, a very good friend of mine uh, who helped me get started really, he was uh, Nelson Penfold. Uh, he owns uh, Vinnie's oh, in he town. Does. Okay, I know the place. And it's one of the first, he rang me a year ago, he, I remember the phone call, he rang me and said, Martin. I said, hello Nelson. <laughs> and he said, I'm going to do some pictures on my wall. Yeah. No problem Nelson. <laughs> did, you do that? Oh, did you do some Christmas stuff? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I did the Christmas stuff. And Nelson, what he does, he likes to keep keep ringing the changes. Mm -hmm. Did the rugby this year, and, he, and then Nelson would ring me up, say, Martin, I want Christmas. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, no problem. And you did that. You made uh, he's, they're the lovely, piece. lovely, lovely people. Well done, Luke, Luke, Luke Finnecum, the manager, Nelson and Sarah, Good. and they helped me. They, they got me on the map. They nice. got me working, and it's all, it's like, it's like a continuous picture. That's nice. It'll change That's again really tomorrow. Nice. That's really nice. I know, it's exciting. Um, one last thing I wanted to ask you before we round it up is mm -hmm. um, inspiration for other, you are an inspiration for other artists, I'm sure you're aware. Can you give some words of wisdom, words of advice? Yeah, definitely. I, I would say just sit, just sit down and don't be scared of, people looking at your art, don't hide it, because I hid mine. Oh. But you just believe in yourself, sit down in the street and draw a picture and you will be surprised. People will look over your shoulder, uh -huh. even if you're just doing a little sketch, because people, it's human nature. It is and human. someone will say, that's really nice, I'll buy that off mm -hmm. you. Like, no. <laughs> it happens, it happens. And it happens, it happened to me and it can happen to anybody. Fantastic. It's like a musician. You get up on stage and you do your bit, you either clap or you don't. <laughs> but we you've clap. got to be there to do it. But yes, definitely believe in yourself and let people see your work. Super. And, and don't, don't trust teachers. We get that. <laughs> the teacher rocks though. Okay, um, thank you Martin. Thank I'm you very, very much. Then. I'm going to give you a cheers. That's a Cheers. tradition. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. I love it. An absolute pleasure.